Welcome to Chaotic Crochet Chatter from Stitchcraft Gifts. My name's Jenny and I crochet for a living. I live in North Yorkshire in the UK with my husband Kelvin, son Ned and our cat Neris. In this podcast I share current projects with you, talk about what's going on in my life and generally witter on about nonsense. I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends. Thank you and take care. Hello my lovely, how are you? I, uh, I'm good, I'm good. It is, oh, just gone 10.45 on Thursday, the 30th of November. For once I can remember the date, and that is because it's December tomorrow. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is absolutely my favorite time of year, as I'm sure I've mentioned before. Um, tomorrow, I can wear Christmas earrings, I can start putting the decorations up, Ned will actually let me sing Christmas songs <laughs> around the house. Um, it's good times, it's really good times. Uh, I am recording this a day later than usual, it would normally be a Wednesday. Um, sorry my nose is really weird today. Um, <laughs> basically I was going to do it yesterday and then I made the mistake of letting myself have a little nap after lunch. Uh, closed my eyes for you know, 20 minutes and then woke up when Kelvin finished work <laughs> and was saying off to get Ned. Um, and then of course I had to do parenty things after that so I just ran out of time. Which is my own fault, nobody's fault but mine. But yes I'm recording today on Thursday so I need to record it today, edit it today <laughs> and then get it ready to be uploaded in the morning. I'm just gonna sort my nose out, two seconds. Sorry about that, it just, it felt really weird and I was worried that it looked odd, but I think it's okay. Um, yeah, my sinuses have been hell <laughs> lately. Uh, the downside to winter. But hey, summer's just as bad with hay fever, so it doesn't really matter. Um, what was I going to say? I noticed the other day I've got a couple of new subscribers. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching. Hi, thank you for subscribing. It's made me so happy. Um, yeah, welcome to you especially, but you know, to everyone, anyone who's watching. Hi. Uh, if you're watching this and haven't subscribed yet, come on, <laughs> press that button. You know you want to. Um, but yeah, that's, that's fab finally a little bit of growth. Um, I am probably talking really really quickly today. I'm a bit hyped up. It's, it's been a busy few days and it's a good time of year so I'm just uh, please do use the YouTube settings to slow me down <laughs> if you need to. Uh, I did that yesterday actually with, uh, oh who was it, um, Craya Bear on YouTube. I might link her if I remember in the description. Um, she's a Scottish knitter and she's fab. I love her. Uh, I don't knit but I love seeing her work and, and listening to her talk. Uh, but she is really really quick <laughs> and I just couldn't go with it yesterday. <laughs> so I slowed it down and it worked really well. What was I going to say? Um, no, oh, I'll stop wittering and I'll just dive in to the format, shall I? Um, for anyone who hasn't been here before, I'm going to do a quick review of what's been going on lately. Then I'll go through my work, no, my finished projects, my works in progress, some incoming. Um, oh, I've got a new little section today, which I'm going to try and carry on, I think, called Wishlist Crochet. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I mention incoming? I did. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to do a little review of the goals that I set last time and how I've done with them. And then at the end, there's just a little bit of me chatting about my journey with physical health and weight loss, which I know isn't for everyone. Feel free to switch off at that point. It is the very, very last bit of the video, so you can just skip it if you're not bothered. Uh, 
da, 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 that's it. So, what has been going on recently? Most recently, <laughs> the last few days, I've been doing some decorating. Um, I don't think I've got much paint on me. It's just a little fleck of white paint on my hand. <laughs> there which is actually from a couple of days ago so I'm a bit I don't know why that's still there um I'm not doing a lot we're just we've been meaning to paint one of the walls in our hallway for months <laughs> we've had the paint in the house for months and I decided this week to finally start doing it um mostly because I want to get it done before I start putting the Christmas decorations up <laughs> Um, which I'm pretty much on track for. I've done two coats of white paint, <coughs> excuse me, I'm very croaky today, just to form a base so the original colour didn't show through. And I'm now on the second coat of the new colour, which is a gorgeous deep sea blue. Um, it's not really, really dark, but it's definitely I don't know, mid-tone, bit darker than, deep, rich, saturated colour. Um, when I get into, well, tomorrow, I'll talk about Blogmas, Vlogmas, whatever we're calling it, later. I'm a bit off centre, aren't I? Whatever. Um, yeah, I will, I will try and show you. The light in the hall's terrible, but I'll try and show you the colour tomorrow uh, da, 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 da. so yeah that's been taking up a fair bit of time excuse me a second oh. I haven't got honey and lemon today because I couldn't get into the honey jar <laughs> couldn't open it <coughs> and the squeezy bottle of honey that we did have has run out and so I've got a cup of tea and I've got a um, glass of blackcurrant squash and that I'll have to do. If my voice starts going, I'm just going to power through and see what happens. Uh, what else has happened since the last time I saw you? I went to the knitting and stitching show in Harrogate with my wonderful mother-in-law. I will talk about that a bit more when we get to the incoming section. But I mean, it was a great day. Really, really good fun. Um, and yeah, actually, I, I managed to restrain myself. I didn't go mad, <laughs> but it was really hard. I could have spent an absolute fortune, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, I've also done two craft fairs, craft markets. There was the one as sort of in conjunction with the Yorkshire Indie Business Club social event for November. Um, we normally have sort of networking meetings and workshops, but for November we had a little social gathering and a market uh, because it's the two year anniversary of the start of the Indie Club um, and that was a really lovely night spoke to loads of people some many who I've met before some who I haven't made some new contacts which is great <coughs> this is not going well is it and then last weekend on the Saturday I was at Starbeck at St Andrew's Church. It was a massive craft market. I hadn't realised how big it would be. Um, again, had a really good, really good afternoon there. And in fact, I've um, got that on my list now for a potential venue for the next market that I organise. I need to get in touch with them. I have emailed them, but nobody ever responds to emails. So I shall have to ring them at some point. Both of those went really, really well. I made a few sales at each one and lots of people were very complimentary about my work which is always fab even if they don't buy things uh, lots of people took business cards which is great and at the indie club market social event whatever uh, I actually took a couple of custom orders as well which I will be talking about in a moment <laughs> because they are both finished projects um, I think, I think that's everything for recent, recent stuff, yes markets, uh, yeah done, so that's that section complete. 
I am going fast. I am a little bit conscious of the time <laughs> today. That's my clock over there. If I keep checking over there, you can see it. In fact, today, my little kitty clock. Um, yeah, it's just I'm a bit later starting than I meant to be. <laughs> so if I'm rushing, that's why. Like I said, please do slow me down <clears throat> and try and cope with how ropey my voice is. More tea. More tea. My fab mug again. My gorgeous friend Lindsay bought me. I'm sure you've seen it before, but I'm going to show you again because it's amazing. <laughs> she knows me so well. I've got a different setup today as well, actually. I've got camera here, obviously, and then my screen's over here. So if I start looking over here, it's so that I can check that you can see what's going on. Um, it just works a bit better for me because it means I'm not staring at myself while I'm talking to you because I find that really off-putting. Right, finished projects. There's not a huge amount I can show you in person today because, well, for various reasons. The first one is the first of the custom orders that I took, which was two uh, mini stockings. I think I talked about those last time. I will put pictures up on this side near the clock so that you can see I'll put up both the ones I completed for the order and just some other pictures of other ones that I've completed. Uh, they are available to order through my shop on Made Me, uh, which will be linked in the description along with everything else that I talk about. Um, yeah, they've been really popular, the mini stockings. It's great. I need to make some more actually for Sunday. <coughs> oh, excuse me, this is terrible. Uh, what was I saying? Mini stockings, yeah, they've, they're going down a storm. Which is good because they're easy to make. <laughs> they are quite time consuming. I think each one takes about an hour and they're only you know, that big. About three, four inches tall. Um, but do you know what? People like them, people are buying them, it's great. And, and it is something, once I've done one or two and I'm in the flow of it, I can just sit and you know listen to podcasts audiobooks watch netflix youtube videos whatever you know i don't really have to think much even with the stripy ones where i'm changing color it's not it's not too strenuous um so yes hopefully they have now got to the customer in question i've not heard from her but i hope <laughs> i hope they've got to her because i posted those the other day um and hopefully she's happy <laughs> maybe um, the other things I am not going to show you are a baby hat. I finished the baby hat that I think I spoke about last time for my impending niece, <laughs> as I keep calling her. Um, she's due middle of January, so only six weeks, I think, give or take. So if she's early, she could be a Christmas baby. But hopefully she'll be just nicely on time. And no one's ever on time, are they? But you know what I mean. Around the middle of Jan would be perfect. Give me a bit more time to keep crocheting. <laughs> um, but yes, it's a really cute little hat. I will take some pictures of it. But as I said before, I am keeping most of the baby projects. Not that I've done very many yet, but I will be doing more. Keeping most of them under wraps until she's here. Because I want them to be a surprise for my sister and her partner. Um... I am going to share another baby project with you in a minute but the hat I'm keeping secret for now but I will take pictures and once baby's here I will share them with the world so you can see what I've been up to. What was the other one? I'm sure there's another one that I'm not showing you. Um, oh just that I did fully finish the snowflakes that I talked about last time. Again I will put some pictures up on the screen for you over here. Um, I, pr I could show you them, they're around somewhere, but they're in a box, <laughs> still. <laughs> they're still packed away from the last lot of markets. Uh, so I'm not going to get them out, but I'll put some pictures up so you can see the finished items. They're on Instagram as well, but I'll put them here. Uh, so the finished project that I can show you <laughs> is my second customer order, one moment. 
How's my stomach rumbling? Can you hear that? I hope not, because I suspect it's going to keep doing it. <laughs> it is heading towards lunchtime and I'm getting hungry. Um, so the other customer order that I had was for a matching set of Christmas baubles. Uh, a really lovely guy called Matt who I had not met before. Um, but I'm hoping I will meet again because he was lovely and we had a really nice chat about various things and he was really taken with the spiral striped bauble that I had out on display at the market and he said he wanted a set of four uh, two green and white and two red and white and here they are all four la, la, la. <laughs> just move that one a bit closer so you can see is that going to focus it's sort of focusing the light's got a bit funny hasn't it I wonder if that's because I've got my lamp on as well the light is quite good today is that, is that one of the green ones if you haven't been here before I forget to mention this every time um, I do have a, a visual impairment um, one of the ways in which that impacts me this is a red one is that I am starting to go colour blind very slowly um, so I can see colour still but I can't always tell what the colour is that I'm seeing which sounds a bit odd um, and it's not just red green it's everything across the board really um, but anyway yes two red two green they've turned out okay I literally finished the last one this morning before Ned went to school um, they're not if I'm honest they're not quite as neat as I would like but I think they're okay I think they're okay the joins down the sides are a little rough in places but they're all right so I shall package them up later and get in touch with Matt to let him know that they are ready and waiting and he did say he might come and collect them because he's in this area um, sort of semi regularly and if not I'll pay some out to him so hopefully he'll be happy with those and that is it for the finished projects um, I'm really really glad that two of those have gone out to, well are going out to customers it would be nice if I finished some stuff for myself as well <laughs> but that's not what this last couple of weeks has been about it's been all about sales and it's worked <laughs> I've actually made a little bit of money, which is brilliant. So, on to my works in progress. Again, quickly check my list. There aren't too many. Right, one of these, it's technically two, but I can only really show you one because the other one's in pieces. It's down there. <laughs> um, but let me quickly grab the other one this is also something that I'm doing um, for sale I am quite tempted to keep it <laughs> but I'm going to take it to the market on Sunday and if somebody buys it then they buy it if not maybe I'll just keep it this is a little idea I had um, do you remember if you've been here before the peace on earth wall hanging I was working on. Well I have technically finished it in that I finished all the letters, I got them all joined together and then I didn't like it. <laughs> I wasn't happy with the way it looked so the letters are all great but just the way they were joined together wasn't really speaking to me and so I was lying in bed the other night, stupid o'clock in the morning <laughs> probably thinking oh what am I going to do I'm not going to do it as a wall hanging I don't like it uh, what else could I do with these letters uh, I wonder could I attach them to some hessian bags to make project bags, shopping bags whatever people want to use them for 
And the answer is yes. <laughs> Hello, Neris. And yes, I know, I'm chatting away and you think it's all to myself, but it's not. I'm hoping there are people watching this eventually. Are you going to come and say hello? Yeah? You coming up? You coming up? Hello? Where's that tail? Here it is. Here it is. <coughs> anyway, yes. Really bad. I'm going to try and cut some of the coughing out, but obviously it depends how ingrained it is in everything else. You're going to mess up my notes, aren't you? Don't show your bum, show your face. No, okay, fine. Anyway, I can't show you the Peace on Earth one at the moment because that's the one that's in pieces still. I haven't finished it. I need to um, just tidy up the letters a little bit and block them. But I remembered while thinking about attaching them to the two bags that last Christmas, well, last winter, autumn winter, I didn't get it finished for Christmas, I started making in fact finished making the panel for a cushion, a Christmas cushion and the reason I didn't finish it is because the cushion cover, pre-made cushion cover that I was going to attach it to never arrived. It was an Amazon order and it just never turned up. I did get a refund <laughs> um, and so right, I just put it away, I'll put it away and I'll come back to it another time and I remembered it the other night and thought actually that would be really good on a bag as well especially because it's mostly mosaic crochet it's in a chunky yarn um and so it's quite thick and although it'd be lovely and soft on the cushion and it's got a lovely texture i, I don't know i don't know how well it'd work basically but i ordered a bunch of hessian bags jute bags whatever they're called off amazon and i have well, I'm halfway through attaching that old panel to the front of one. Let's move that way a bit. You see, it says joy. So the letters and the trees. How well is that focusing? Can you see that it's trees? You can kind of see. Contrast isn't very high. Can you see the trees here? <clears throat> so the letters and the trees are all mosaic crochet. This chair's really creaky at the moment. <laughs> um, oh. Just pausing in the hope that that makes a good thumbnail. <laughs> um, yeah, the this panel, the trees, I think is a sixle design pattern, obviously. <laughs> um, I can't remember what it's called, but I will look it up and put it in the notes for you. The letters are from a different designer. Is it Tina, possibly? I don't know if I'm getting that right, but again, I'll find it and I'll put it in the notes. I might even pop it on the screen <laughs> just now. Uh, and then I've just crocheted around the edges um, and joined them together and then added a border. And I'm literally just sewing it to the bag. <laughs> don't look at the bag. Don't look at the bag. None of the ends are woven in. Is it? Absolute mess. Come on, will I show you? Look at how messy that is. But because I'm sewing it onto here, it doesn't matter. No one will ever know. Unless it comes off the back in the future, and then they will. But, um, but yeah, I'm just attaching it with sewing thread, just sewing it on. And I've done the top edge, and I'm about two thirds of the way down the first side. So I'm hopefully going to finish that today. Hopefully, going to finish the letters and get an arrangement sorted out for the piece on earth one later today and uh, yeah I feel really good about them I like this idea the bags are a really good size I think they're 30 by 30 square front and back but then look how much they open out as well there's loads of space in there so they'd make great project bags for crafters shopping bags for anyone <laughs> and I'm thinking obviously these are Christmassy ones but I could do all kinds of things with them I could do ones with people's names on I could do flowers for spring and summer I could do pictures 
in mosaic or tapestry, crochet, you know, all kinds of stuff. So hopefully I'll be doing lots more of these. That's the plan. The yarn is from um, one of the older Crochet Society boxes, incidentally. In fact, where's the box? No, that's not it. Excuse me one moment. Here it is. This one. If you are a Crochet Society subscriber, you will probably recognise it. Inside the lid it says, create your own happy place, which is lovely. And this is box number, I don't know, because they hadn't started putting the numbers on the boxes. <laughs> so it must be quite an old one. And I haven't written it inside either. So I can't tell you which box number it is. If you are a Crochet Society subscriber, and you recognise this box, and you know the number, please let me know in the comments, so that other people know too. Yeah. So yes, again, I'll put the information about the yarn in below, but I think it's one that was exclusive to Crochet Society, so you won't be able to buy it anyway, unfortunately. But if I let you know the information, you can probably find a good, good substitute. I'm just going to finish my tea because it's going cold. <clears throat> right, I have finished my tea, which was almost cold and not very nice anymore, but never mind. I've had a good cough. <laughs> So hopefully I'm okay for a few more minutes uh, while I show you the other two works in progress that I'm going to talk about today. They're not the only ones, you know what I'm like. I've got a billion projects in, you know, half completed states, but they're the ones I'm focusing on today. <laughs> so I think I showed, showed you these last time. This is a pair of socks that I'm working on for the Strictly Sock Along as is being run by Ali from Little Drop of Wonderful. Um, again, I'll put the information below for you. I haven't done a lot on these because, I think I said before, I'm only working on the socks while I'm watching Strictly, which does include It Takes Two, but still. And last week I was just so embroiled in the mini stocking <laughs> Technically it's socks, I suppose. But yeah, making mini stockings and other things for markets that I just didn't feel I could spare the time. So I have done a little bit. I think last time we spoke, I was only kind of up to here. <laughs> and now I'm up to here, I've got a bit more. <laughs> but this, I'm still on the first sock. And, oh, what's the pattern? I think it's the Vine Colourwork Crochet Socks by Brianna Kay, I think. And again, I will, you know, if that's wrong, the correct information will be in the, in the notes. Um, and in fact, on screen now, I'll put it up. And the yarn is from Vicky Brown from her mini skiing club. I think I'm on to the March, 23, March 2023 box now. It is a lovely pattern and the texture it creates, let's see if I can hold this up for you, the texture it creates is lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. It looks, almost looks knit, which it is not, it's crocheted. I don't know if that's focusing. Even looking at my screen, I can't really tell, but there you go. Um, oh, how cute is this stitch marker, by the way? That's one that Kelvin bought for me. Bought me a little set of five of them, I think, from Etsy. Not last Christmas, the one before, I think. I've got no idea who they're by. I just know they're from Etsy. What was I saying? Yes, it's a lovely pattern and it creates a really gorgeous texture. It does take a long time to work up. <laughs> so these are gonna be a slow burn. I might not get them finished, especially because I might start a new pair of socks this week. I will tell you more about that when we get to the incoming section. Cause, well, I have new yarn basically and it's, I can't not use it for the Strictly Sock Along. You'll see why. You'll see why. But yes, that is one of my works in progress. It is, I am going to carry on. I will get them finished at some point. Um, 
it just might take me a while but that's okay there's no rush I'm only doing them for me uh, and then the final work in progress I want to show you again there's not actually a lot of progress to show but I just wanted to sorry a bit of something on my desk um, just wanted to show you what I have done on the baby blanket for my impending lease. This is again a crochet society from a crochet society box. It is box 43, which is not, it's not the most recent. In fact, it might be a couple of boxes ago now. Um, pattern, all the patterns in this box designed by Rosine Plain, who a lot of people will have heard of before. And it is a lovely, lovely pattern and the yarn is gorgeous. Again, it's exclusive to Crochet Society and you can only get it in the boxes, um, which is a shame and something I keep meaning to contact them about and see if they will start making their yarn on a bigger scale. Cause I just, it's always really nice, really lovely to work with. Um, this is cotton, but they do lovely acrylics as well. I'm just going to quickly show you the stitch marker that comes with this box because it's so pretty. Is that going to focus? You see the little butterfly? <laughs> He's just really, really lovely. And that has shown you a glimpse as well of the blanket. I'm still not particularly far along. I think I'm probably, oh, maybe a quarter at most, a third of the way through. Uh, but we'll see. I think I'm basically going to keep going until the yarn runs out with this one. Um, again, I've not had a lot of time to work on it because I've been focusing on sales, sale project products. Um, but I have done a bit. I have done a bit. I had a, an evening where I just I couldn't face doing any more mini stockings. I had a, I had a minute. I thought, what else can I do that's just completely different? And I remember that. So I've done a bit and I will keep working on it and I will get it finished before the baby comes. <laughs> I will. Uh, I foresee a lot of late nights in my future because <laughs> I've got a lot that I want to get done <laughs> before Christmas and then before the baby comes. But hey, no pressure really and it doesn't... I would like to be able to give my sister and her partner at least some things before the baby's here or as the baby arrives <laughs> not literally not in the delivery room but you know <laughs> when it's brand new still she is brand new still but if i don't i don't you know she knows i'm making things she knows it's all coming and whenever i get them to her she'll be happy i hope pretty sure she will she's yeah so we'll see I'm gonna do the best I can anyway <clears throat> right that's my works in progress I said I was being really quick today I've been chatting for ages already <laughs> I always do that don't I uh, so incoming am I doing incoming no I'm not I'm not doing incoming yet I'll do that in a minute I'm doing wishlist crochet first this is something I've been toying with the idea of for a few weeks and then I saw a pattern the other day and I thought I have to mention it, I have to because it is beautiful, it is so up my street, it is unbelievable, I will make it one day, it might be years away because <laughs> it's a big one. I'm going to put a picture on the screen now, it is by Sindbird. C Y N D B I R D. It's definitely a bird at the end on Instagram. Um, I don't know if they've got my a website or anything, but I'll look that up. And if they do, you know where I'll be. And it is called the Winter Solstice Magic Blanket. Isn't it stunning? Can you see the pictures I've put? Well, at least one. I might put a few up because the Instagram post I saw it on had. Um, a few basically done by their testers the pattern is gorgeous <laughs> is really what matters and I desperately want to make it at some point it's definitely on my wish list 
and it's just a matter of when it like I say it might be years because there are so many projects that I want to make <laughs> so many projects that I want to make um, but this one's just perfect whether I'd make it as a blanket I don't know I am thinking that uh, it would look really nice as a wall hanging actually if I did it in quite a lightweight yarn hang it up in, in here somewhere or in the hallway or the bedroom the sitting room, anywhere <laughs> it would look gorgeous uh, yeah so that's that that's item number one for wishlist crochet this time the other one is some yarn which again I'm going to pop a quick picture up it's not a very good picture I took this very quickly at the knitting and stitching show this is some yarn I spotted and I wanted to buy some but they didn't have it in a colour that I really liked so I need to have a look and see if they have it elsewhere in colours that I do like because it's so soft this is silky cashmere from lotus yarns i don't know the percentages because i didn't take a very clear shot of the back of the label <laughs> but it is a silk and cashmere blend and it just felt like heaven absolute heaven really obviously silky smooth <laughs> um and soft and not too warm but also with a bit of warmth in it if that makes any sense and I am going to buy some of this at some point this is a definite it's on my wish list for now but it will become reality because it is just too nice not to and I'm thinking it would make a really gorgeous pair of fingerless gloves I spoke last time I think about how much I love fingerless gloves <laughs> they just I wear them a lot both out and about and around the house especially at this time of year when it's cold I didn't mention the weather did I? I know I raved about it being winter at the beginning of this but the weather is just perfect for me at the moment it is, it's not perfect it's quite bright as close to perfect as you can get it is bright but it is cold and crisp and clear and just oh. I had a little walk yesterday morning and it was amazing <laughs> I had my big winter coat on and I didn't get too hot Anyway, that's my wish list <laughs> at the moment. There's plenty more on it. I am going to keep this going because I want to share with you the things that I just am enjoying seeing at the moment. There are so many amazing patterns out there. There are so many amazing yarns out there. I might not do both every time. It will depend what, what I come across. I've lost my train of thought. I know that's the first time that's really happened today, <laughs> for once. But it was bound to happen at some point. Um, but yeah, there's just there's so much out there, and I'm never going to get time to make it all myself. It, no, not if I live to be a thousand, <laughs> which I can't. But I'll get through as much of it as I can, and in the meantime, I will share the rest of it with you through other people's photos. <laughs> uh, right, that is my wish list incoming exciting incoming stuff I'm going to start with not the knitting and stitching show stuff I'll show you that in a moment I'm going to start with some gorgeous earrings that I've got they are from a lady who owns a business that is becoming incredibly successful it's a local business it's just her I believe I can't remember her name I'm sorry my love if you're watching this you're amazing I've just completely forgotten your name because I'm terrible <laughs> It's nothing personal. Um, but the business is called Make Harrogate and she makes jewellery. I believe it's all from uh, polymer clay and it's beautiful. I bought some earrings from her a few months ago for my sister for her birthday um, and then I saw a few weeks ago now that she was making Christmas earrings and you know what I'm like about Christmas. <laughs> I had to. I will start actually by just trying to show you in my ears at the moment the non Christmasy ones that I bought although the colours about right let's see if I can get my ear close enough to the camera that you can see and then it will focus I don't know how well that's focused if at all 
Those little stegosaurus is. <laughs> They're really, really cute. <clears throat> so those are the non Christmassy ones that I bought, although the colour is Christmassy. And then I have three other pairs that are utterly Christmassy. This will show you her logo as well. In fact, I'll show you the back of the card too. Some little Christmas trees. Are we focusing? Sort of. There we go. I'll just show you the back of that and you can take a screenshot if you like. Although I will obviously put all the information below. Don't know if that's focusing at all, but if it has, then hopefully that's helpful. And I've got two pairs of snowflake ones because they're lovely. I've got some small, although they might have been the medium size, I can't remember. Smallish snowflake studs. White on white, that doesn't... Oh, you can sort of see them, can't you? You can see them. So just some stud ones, and then, for when I'm feeling a bit fancy, some big... I think that one's the wrong way around. Big snowflake dangly drop earrings. You see those? Yeah, you can see those. Aren't they just gorgeous? And the really, really wonderful thing about these, besides the fact that they are stunning, is that they are so lightweight. It honestly, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything today. And then, okay, those are only studs, but still, these are really light as well. So I'm really looking forward to wearing those. They're definitely, definitely going to get worn. Lots. It's exciting. And, you know, I love the fact that I am supporting a small local business and someone that I know uh, she's at I think she's been at every indie business club meeting that I've been to so I've seen her quite a bit and she seems really lovely uh, so yeah that's great that's it apart from the knitting and stitching stuff where's that one? oh no wait a couple of other things to show you as well um, slightly less exciting but I just had to buy these because of the designs on them. The last time I put an Avon order in, I used to be, a few years ago now, I was an Avon rep and I still have my account because as long as I put an order in every few months I get to keep it which means I get my discount still. Not the high rate of discount, the lowest one, but it's still a pretty decent amount, I can't remember how much. And yes, the last time I put an Avon order in, I saw these two pouches. They're meant as um, makeup or toiletries pouches, but they work really well as small project bags. And I just love the designs. So that's all um, sun and stars and moons and clouds and stuff. And it's a, uh, it's not completely clear, but almost clear one so you can see when there's stuff in it and then the other one is like fireworks <laughs> isn't that pretty i love them so they've got a couple of small bits in this one's just got a half completed and now slightly abandoned project in it <laughs> stash that over there this one has got something that I bought at the knitting and stitching show in it. One of the things, there are many, many, so many amazing stores and so many amazing demonstrations of things. There was a demonstration of punch needle work, which I've been toying with the idea of getting into for a little while. But I'd only ever seen it done with quite thick yarn and I wasn't keen on the look but they had a demonstration with really fine yarn and I had a little go and now I've asked for a kit for Christmas. <laughs> so that's a new thing that I'm going to add to my arsenal. And then the other thing is stick weaving. So I bought a little kit, very very simple kit but it was only £10 got a little instruction book and a set, a set, a pair of the sticks. I'm not going to go into how it works because I'm not very good at explaining things. <laughs> Those are the little sticks. 
Um, but again, I'll link to their website in the description and I think they've got a tutorial in there. I had a little go and I've made that. It might not look like a huge amount to you. <laughs> but that will make a really quite a cool little back handle. And this is going to be great for, in my head, the idea that I've got for this is back handles and straps, you can make belts, you could make hairbands. <laughs> um, or the kind of original design, it, original design, original purpose, or the purpose they talk about the most is you make the strips and then you coil them up and sort of sew it into place so you end up with lovely kind of spirals like that and you can do them in a single colour or a couple of colours or lots of colours or whatever you like and you get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to whatever size you want and then you use them as table mats or attach a load together they had a really cool wall hanging that was just made up of a load of different size spirals in sort of complementing colours and once you get into the rhythm of it it's really easy <laughs> really easy so I'm going to keep having to go I am thinking mostly bag straps but I do like the idea of doing some cotton ones in my scrap cotton and using them as heat mats for our dining table for our pots and pans in the kitchen that sort of thing because it is it is lovely I used to no. oh I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this I think my grandma used to have oh it looks quite nice with that colour on the inside as well doesn't it I'm rambling now I think my grandma used to have she might still have it might not have been her it might have been someone else those um very similar idea table mats made up of like coiled uh like wicker possibly I don't know anyway <laughs> I'm just making stuff up now it's about nonsense but yes I bought that at the knitting and stitching show and I've been inspired by it and we'll see what happens it might be that it ends up getting left by the wayside as I move on with life but it only cost me a tenner and again I've supported a small business by buying that so that's two good reasons to have bought it. Now what else is in this very boring paper bag? <laughs> uh, that's just the show guide. There's lots of little business cards and leaflets and stuff in here which I won't show you all of. Um, in fact I won't show you any of because I can't be bothered. <laughs> but I will. All the businesses that I have got cards from and any more that I can remember I'll list them all in the description for you because well they're the ones that I like the most basically and I want to share them I want to get the, the word out there that they're fab there were hundreds more yeah, I think we spent four or five hours in there not including lunch and we glimpsed most stalls but we didn't visit all of them you know it was walking past quite a lot <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to have a quick drink and then I'll show you what else is in here. Right. I am going to show you this. This is a gift for a family member. I hope they don't watch. Andy, if you're watching this, look away and just mute it or something for just a couple of minutes, okay? I won't take long. Now, this might not look like a very inspiring gift. It's an oven glove. I have been assured this is what he wants for Christmas and it is a really cool oven glove look at that this is made by a local company I don't know they may well have chains I don't know but there's a shop and a cafe in Harrogate and they were at the show the company is called Artisan which I think they must be a fairly small business because they were at the Indie Business Club as well actually and she tends to only really support small businesses 
it says on the back of the label sorry trying to think how to phrase this um they're a charity essentially and they support um like disabled people uh in the countries i'm about to mention because it's written on the back of here much better than i could ever articulate it uh let's just read this it says it's really small print sorry i'm gonna have to get really close da, da, da. purchasing this product i'm purchasing this product transforms the lives of the differently abled people we work with in ecuador and peru so again i'll pop their website down below and you can have a look at what they do I put my hand in. makes it easier to show you but everything they make has these gorgeous prints um inspired by the you know the local culture of the people they're working with this is clearly very well made it's properly padded on both sides which so many oven gloves aren't anymore and i'm going to put it out of sight now just in case he is watching <laughs> there we go andy it's safe to look um everything they make is just beautiful i need to go into the shop at some point although possibly only when i have a purpose in mind because otherwise i'll buy all kinds of stuff uh, and I'm definitely going into the cafe. I have been told it's really, really lovely. I did also buy from them a couple of greetings cards that they make. Aren't they pretty? They had, again, loads of really lovely ones. Um, and I could have bought one of all of their designs. But I picked these two up already and I thought, I'm not going to put them down again. I've got these. I've committed. Let's just go with these, otherwise I'll have no money left uh oh okay this actually says on the back who it's being made by it's handmade in ecuador i cannot pronounce that name are they both the same person no and the handwriting is terrible on that one not terrible just i can't read it uh what else does it say so on the back of here it's got the name of the person who made it i'm just going to hold it up look so you can see and then underneath it says, all our cards are handmade by differently abled artisans from a mixture of recycled paper and natural plant fibres. By buying this card, you are helping to enable, empower and support people with disabilities in Ecuador. So they've got a fantastic purpose. I think that just says the same. It does, yeah. But it's by a different person. So these have been made, you know, very similar designs, but made by two different people. And the beautiful I think the texture of that um, recycled paper is fab. Not that I'm getting out, out for now. But yes, these are going to go in my stash of um, greetings cards that I try and keep stocked up a lot of the time. So that I've always got a card on hand when it's a birthday. And I know they're going to be appreciated. And I'm going to have to remember next time I'm looking for cards to go into the artisan shop. Because they're just so pretty. And there were loads. There were seahorses and um, flowers and lots of other designs that I can't remember. <laughs> and I'm floundering. Uh, but yes, lots to look at. I'm going to quickly mention one thing that I did buy that isn't in here because it's very, very special. I have got a couple of pictures that I'll put up here for you. I met my friend Fee at the show. Uh, she is Fiona Creates on Instagram and a bunch of other places and her own website and she's an incredible illustrator she also knits <laughs> and she crochets but so do I she knits which I don't and oh I can't remember the name of the company now but again I'll put it up on screen and link it and everything some a yarn supplier company I can't remember if they dye it themselves or spin it themselves or something, but I'll I'll find out all the information and, and add it in. They had some really gorgeous yarn, but what really caught my eye is they had laid out a beautiful shawl. Absolutely stunning. The picture that I'm going to put up of the pattern does not do it justice at all. And they were selling the kit to knit this shawl. 
This is the problem with the knitted one, which is why I didn't immediately buy it. But they had the kit which had the cake of yarn, which should have been, you know, should be plenty to make the shawl. The cake of yarn, the knitting needles, the pattern, the sort of stitch markers. Pardon me. <laughs> um, all together in a kit. And so her fee turned up. Right, like, fee, let's come here. Come and see the shawl, this stall. Let's look at the shawl that's on it. Would you make it for me? I said, yeah, of course I will. If you buy the yarn, buy the kit, hand it over, <laughs> and I'll make it. I have the best friends. Um, so she's working on that, I believe, as we speak. Well, probably not right now, she'll be working. Um, but yeah, she's she had another shawl she wanted to finish first, but I got a message from her later that day, basically saying, I'm working on the other shawl now, so I can get it finished and start yours, because I want to do it. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping she'll send me a progress picture at some point, but no pressure fee, no pressure, take your time. And yeah, it's gonna look so good. The yarn I've chosen, hopefully the color will show up fairly well in the pictures. It's a lovely kind of wine red and it's sparkly. Um, and just the pattern and the texture of this shawl was so beautiful. And it was one of those moments where like, why don't I knit? Why don't I knit? I need to make this. And then feet turned up and everything was fine again. <laughs> so that's that. Now, which bits am I going to show you next? I'm going to show you. I went to the show with a fairly firm purpose in my head and I thought I'm only going to buy yarn if I know what I'm going to make with it and if I don't feel I can get and if I don't feel I can get it somewhere else slightly broke that rule the second part of that holds true <laughs> I mean I can get it in this this uh, person's shop and I'm sure she's got an online shop but I don't think I'd get it anywhere else as far as I know but I don't know what I'm going to make with this but I could not leave this yarn behind I had to buy it because it's a gradient cake which you know I love. Look at the colours. They are beautiful colours. Really stunning colours. It is, I believe, I've got the label upside down, but let me just check. It's the cotton acrylic blend, which I love working with. It is, ooh, oh, I didn't notice. No, they're not anything to do with that. They've got themselves attached. That's something else. I'm going to show you in a minute and they've got tangled in the yarn hang on oh they've got really tangled in the yarn I'm gonna to have to undo that later I'll show you them properly in a minute uh, yeah cotton acrylic blend which I really love it is a four ply you know lightweight yarn it's got so tangled I can't show you now I think it's a four ply it's a lightweight anyway you know sort of fingering weight the colors are stunning the company is called Yarn Mixology, which I love. The colourway name is Temptation. I mean, I can't get that to focus, the light's gone all weird. Can you see? Called Temptation. The lady on the stall, you know, it's her company, was lovely, <laughs> which always helps. The reason I couldn't leave it behind is because of that name. Um, some of you may already know, <laughs> my favourite band in the whole wide world is Within Temptation. They are a Dutch metal band, I think, oh I can't remember exactly what they call the genre these days, but it is called, sometimes called symphonic metal. They've branched out a bit in their style. I love them. Every album they produce is amazing. They have, their sound has developed, but it's still very much them. If you know, if you take one of their early songs and one of their most recent songs, they're different, but they're still within Temptation. It's, there's a kind of a, I don't know, a quality that is just them. And so, you know, 
a cake of yarn that is my ideal fibre content, my ideal weight, a really nice big cake, beautiful colours, and is called Temptation. That was coming home with me, clearly. So I don't know what I'm going to make with it. I was going to try and untangle this while I'm talking. Bear with me. Um, trying to do it without ruining either this little thing that's got tangled up or the yarn. And I don't know that I can. Right, I'm just going to have to leave those attached and I'll show you them in a moment. So yes, I don't know what I'm going to make. It would make a lovely shawl. But I don't wear shawls very much. Maybe a big wrap style one, you know, the big rectangly ones like my blanket stitch shawl which I've not shown you in a while um I don't really do triangle shawls I just don't wear them very much it would make a lovely top for the summer so that's the thought lightweight blanket yeah there's lots of things I could do I will find something it could take me ages I've got a big stash over there of big cakes of cotton and cotton acrylic yarn <laughs> they're all gradient and they're all lovely and I will use them all it's just taking me a while <laughs> uh, now the other yarn that I bought is in a little bag in the big bag I'm just going to pop that big bag out of the way for a moment because it's rustling and this was again just a bit perfect this one I do know sorry rustly bag I do know what I'm going to use it for this is socks and I've just noticed the logo oh my god that's brilliant the reason again this this is speaking to me on a lot of levels first of all the colour look at those colours again they're just beautiful just beautiful it's sock yarn and I you know I'm liking making socks at the moment not only is it sock yarn so strictly sock along the company is strictly hand dyed yarn <laughs> like, okay <laughs> give me yarn please um so it's a four ply which I like working in 75% superwash merino 25% nylon, perfect sock yarn. The colours are stunning. The colourway is called Demeter, who is one of my favourite ancient Greek goddesses. And I've just noticed the logo. And it's just made me laugh because look, let's see if you can see it. It's two little dancing sheep. <laughs> How well is that showing up? Okay. And it's just brilliant. I hadn't noticed that before. So yes, I will. This is why the current pair of socks might get not abandoned, just put to one side for a while. Because I'd like to get a pair of socks in this finished by the end of the Strictly Sock Along. And there's not long left now. I think we've got three more weeks of Strictly and then the Christmas special. And then I think the sock along might run into the beginning of January, but it's not, I'm not sure about that. And even if it does, that's not very far away. So I just need to find a pattern that will really show it off. I might do, that's one of my hairs. Um, I might do another pair of the Watson Waffle socks because they really worked really well. Um, with the, the Vicky Brown's yarn. They showed up the, the colour variation really nicely. I think what I'll do is I'll wind this up into a cake or a ball and just see how long the, the sort of bits of colour in it are, whether it's a stripe or whether it's gonna work out as more of a speckle once I start crocheting with it. And that will that will influence my decision with the pattern. I might find a really, really simple pattern. I might do the Watson Waffle. I might find something else. I don't know, but I am gonna make socks and I'm very excited. <laughs> and that is nearly it. There's just, I think, I was gonna say one more thing, but it's technically three. Let me just dig them out. Is it three? 
Right, I bought some stitch markers from a company called Dina's House of Crafts, Home of Crafts, sorry. Now these are knitting stitch markers and as I've said I don't knit, however I could easily change them to lobster clasps and use them as crochet stitch markers myself or I was thinking I might make bag charms with them and just attach them to my project bags. Let me show you. So I picked up two sets myself and one that is a gift for someone. This is one of the sets for myself. That's some snowflakes. And they're all different. As snowflakes should be. That's not showing up very well because it's gone all tangly. There we go. There's the one. And another one. Again, I don't know how well these are showing up. I'm trying my best, guys. <laughs> I am. I'm trying my best. There we go. I have asked instantly for Christmas for a better webcam. So hopefully I'll get one. If not, I usually get some money off my dad, so I'll buy one myself if I do. Um, anyway, yes, that's the snowflake set. The other set for myself is what's got tangled in this lovely yarn <laughs> so I'm gonna have to be a bit careful oh no there we go there we go it's come and done and I don't think it's ruined the yarn either so there we go uh this is another little set that it's another thing that I saw and just had to buy because these are all the same so I'll just show you one of them they're little cats oh that's the wrong arm oh, I can't see what I'm doing there we go. Look, they're little kitties. <laughs> There's a set of four. They're all the same. That way. And they're just really, really cute. They're adorable. Um, and then this last set is a gift. I'm not going to tell you who four yet. There are three of these. Oh, that's perfect, actually. That's worked out even better than I thought for the recipient. Again, they're all three the same. Um, this is someone who is a knitter so she can use them as is. Hey look all chickens. Again they're just really cute. Um, and yeah the the vendor the company the lady at the store uh, had a bunch of different ones basically and I just again had to have the snowflakes because of the time of year. Had to have the cats because me. Had to get the chickens because this other person. Just too perfect. Too too perfect. So I'm really happy with all my purchases from the show. I'm just going to leave those out so I don't forget to send them actually now that I'm showing them to you guys. And partly, you know, happy with the things I bought because they're all amazing. Partly just happy with myself for not buying more. <laughs> so many things. There was gorgeous fabric. There was far more yarn you know I could have just bought everything there were so many amazing colours uh, buttons and beads oh my word I stopped myself because I didn't have anything I needed them for but I have made a note of the names of the companies because if I ever need beads or buttons I know where to go now wow um, embroidery kits I don't embroider but if I ever fancy doing it or if I want to get gifts for someone who does. Again, so many amazing kits. And, oh, it was such a joy. Honestly, it, it was just a fabulous day. That was all the incoming. It has just occurred to me that I should have another bit of incoming and I don't, so I need to get in touch with someone about that. But I won't name names. I won't shout, I won't shame them because that'd be me. So, after over an hour, <laughs> I'm nearing the end, uh, there's just a little bit of upcoming to tell you about. So, exciting stuff. I've got another market, my last one of the year on Sunday. It's at North Bar in Harrogate. I believe that North Bar is open as normal on the Sunday and so you can come and get a drink or a bit of food and then you could also 
come upstairs to the craft fair and buy some lovely things from me in particular but also the other people who will be there um i believe it's running from well i need to be there for 10 so i'm assuming they're not gonna let people in straight away because we'll need time to set up so i'm gonna say from about 11 and then till the end of the day which will be four because it's sunday uh, so do pop in if you're in the area and you've got time make time <laughs> please do pop in and see me it will be lovely and i'm sure i don't know who else is going to be there but I, i'm not the only one i'm certain <laughs> so i'm sure there will be some other wonderful uh businesses to buy from and then the main upcoming thing i did mention this briefly last time is that starting tomorrow first of december is vlogmas or blogmas if you're not a video blogger um it'll be the first time i've done it i want to do it i'm excited about doing it because it's just my favorite time of year as i keep saying <laughs> And I thought it would be a lovely opportunity to just share a bit more of the behind the scenes kind of stuff with you. Um, like, for example, I will show you the hallway that I've been painting. You'll get to see the utter chaotic cluttered mess that is my house. <laughs> uh, there will probably be appearances from Ned and possibly from Kelvin. Um, Ned will insist on getting involved, I'm certain of it. <laughs> Kelvin will probably be a bit more reluctant but I might get him on camera or you might at least hear his voice uh, and I'll get to share things like the fact that on Saturday we are going to Stockheld Park which is a local attraction I don't really know what to call it but it's got play areas and uh, there's they kind of get um, oh words what am I trying to say they've got a big like foresty bit you can walk through that's called the enchanted forest and there are some like permanent bits in there that will be the same like they've got a um, or oh, like a kind of musical garden thing you can walk through and and make music on the instruments that are there but they will also have it all extra beautiful for Christmas. Uh, the lights, we went last year at this kind of time and the year before in fact and they had like light up reindeer and you know, loads of fairy lights and all the rest of it and it's just really gorgeous. So we'd probably have gone anyway but the main reason we're going is to meet Santa. <laughs> they always do a really really good Santa's Grotto and Ned, for now, still believes very much in the Santa the person, not just the concept, which is great. I'm all for it. <laughs> Fully supporting his belief in Santa. And so we're going to go and see Santa. We normally go and had intended to go a bit later in December to see Santa. But I'm actually really happy that we're going this early. I think it's going to be a really lovely start to the month because um, it's always really Christmassy there. We might have lunch there, I can't remember what time we're going now. I need to check. <laughs> and we'll almost certainly get some hot chocolate, because why not? You know? And it's just going to be a really lovely Christmassy day. We will end up in the gift shop. I will probably buy a couple of new baubles. I must make sure I don't buy as many as I did last year, because <laughs> I went a bit mad. And I can't afford to do that this year. But I will buy a couple. Might let Ned buy something. We shall see. Uh, but yes, the point is, Vlogmas is happening. So my plan is to record something every day. I will be sharing my advent calendars with you. I've got the Crochet Society one and the Vicky Brown one. Um, that's what else I was going to show you. I'll have to get that down in a minute. Um, there's Ned's advent calendar. I've made him an advent calendar this year. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll show you that in a moment. I just need to get it down because I forgot. Because it's been hiding. <laughs> so that he doesn't spot it because it's a surprise. Uh, yes, so I'm going to record something every day. I won't upload every day because if I try and do that, I'm going to get bogged down with all the editing. I'll get really stressed out. And December is always a busy month. But I want it to be a fun month, not a stressful one. <laughs> um, 
I've said um a lot today and now I'm going to notice it every time and it's going to annoy me but let's just power through what was I saying yes so I will try and upload something on the first which is the same day this goes live but so yeah hopefully you'll know by the time you see this actually no you won't because this will go up in the morning the vlogmas stuff will probably go up in the afternoon evening of, e of whenever whichever days I upload it yes yeah, so I'll try and do something on the first I will try and do something on the 31st <laughs> in between those two dates it will be every few days I don't know exactly how often it will depend on how much recording I do and how much time I've got so just bear with me but I will record at least a little bit every day if nothing else I'll record opening the advent calendars hopefully I'll get more than that for you <laughs> but we'll just take it as we go right bear with me a minute I'm going to grab Ned's advent calendar to show you it needs to come down anyway so that I can finish filling it and get it out for tomorrow okay here it is I don't know if I can get it all in shot <laughs> look it's a wooden one so I bought the wooden tree shape and all the little boxes from the works who are a craft and toys and books retailer very cheap in the UK and then I got Christmassy paper let's get one of these out to show you I'm not going to go through all of them Christmassy paper and I've used I think a different one for every single box which is cool because I bought loads of Christmassy paper because I can't say no so some Christmassy paper which I've cut the shapes out and used some decoupage I don't know if I say that right um, glue slash sealant to attach it to the front which is great it's really solid it looks like it's just part of the box which is amazing and then these little hearts with numbers on I bought the paper and the hearts from, from the works as well I'm really pleased there we go, focused ish with how all the boxes have turned out I'm really happy with them um, a couple of them are a bit sticky they don't fit very well who's that can I show you oh, I don't know who half of these are what I've got to go in it I managed to get off vinted some Pokemon minifigures yeah, I don't know who that is you might <laughs> I'm hoping Ned will there's Pikachu in at least one of the boxes and then I've also got some little Christmas stamps here's one of them a little pudding for some of the boxes uh, I've got some Lindor chocolates to go in just a few and then hopefully today I can't remember what they're called but some little like squishy toy things they're a bit like mini squishmallows but they're not squishmallows <laughs> um, just to go in the rest of the boxes I just wanted to I always have my yarn calendars Kelvin always has a coffee calendar and then we have a chocolate calendar that we share <laughs> we fill ourselves so there's one for each of us and we always get Ned one of the cheapo chocolate advent calendars from the supermarket but I just wanted to him to have something special this year and a soft touch yes my child is spoiled <laughs> you know it's Christmas shut up um, but yeah I've had fun doing this it was a lot quicker than I expected it to be I was originally going to paint the, um, the frame why isn't this going back in there we go um, as well but I just didn't get around to it but I think it looks nice just in the natural wood bring it a bit closer so you can see some more of the box fronts so many different different Christmassy papers there's 24 boxes as per traditional advent calendars and yeah I'm really happy with it and I'm gonna put it out I think I'll get it out for before he gets home from school actually today and then I'll know about it before the morning there are a couple that stick a bit that one is number four doesn't want to come out but I can get it out 
with the aid of a crochet hook obviously the handle not the hook side uh, but most of them are fine so yeah there we go oh dear it's just fallen over front four first <laughs> i'll deal with that in a minute <laughs> um right i think that's all the upcoming stuff i don't know what i've done with that card so i don't know <laughs> i think that's it so quick review of the goals and then we're nearly done okay i'll keep this fairly quick so i'm just going to go through the goals that i set last time and whether or not i have done anything about them <laughs> so i said i was going to keep working on my christmas jumper i have done a little bit more i haven't shown you it today and i'm not going to because it hasn't really changed much but the back panel which i'm working on has grown a little um so yes i've done that uh, i said i was going to finish the piece on earth wall hanging technically i have done that <laughs> i just have then undone it and just done something else with it but technically i finished it um complete a baby project i have done i had to, i mentioned earlier update my website i have done there's still not loads of content on it but i have updated it a bit there's a picture of me on it now in fact it's the thumbnail from last time uh so that's there a little bit more contact information some more pictures in the gallery so that's cool i have updated my shop so there's some christmas items on there there's the mini stockings a couple of baubles and the snowflakes are all on there uh, make the Christmas decorations for the markets. Yes, I've done. I've sold some, <laughs> which is fab. Um, and then the only one I haven't done is I still haven't made a llama for Lindsay's friend, who I believe has now had her baby. <laughs> I will do it. I think that's climbing, quickly climbing to the top of my list of things to do, actually, because I do want to make a few more mini stockings for this market on Sunday. But otherwise, things are a lot more open now. Uh, so as for new goals, I'm not really specifically setting any. I'm going to just take December as it comes. I do know that I want to make some more baby things. Uh, I do know that I want to make this llama. I do know that I want to get my Christmas jumper finished as soon as possible. So I haven't set any goals in stone, but I have got goals to work towards, if that makes sense. And then really I just want to focus more on doing projects for me for most of December and most of January because I haven't done a lot for myself for the last few weeks basically it's all been for the business which is great and I've really enjoyed making everything but there are projects for me that have fallen by the wayside a bit so I'm going to revisit some of those. I will talk more about that in my vlogmas videos i'm sure the other thing i was going to mention actually is i've had i did say i think didn't i last time or the time before that i'm making the baby blanket that i showed you that is a very lightweight very small what's often called a receiving blanket for when they come home from hospital um and kind of more of a keepsake obviously I'm happy if they use it as a blanket great please do but it's a it's a keepsake blanket I did say I was also going to make a more kind of woolly wintry blanket for them I haven't settled on anything for that yet but the crochet society advent calendar if it has got the type of yarn in it that I think it will that it has in previous years it will be perfect for baby blanket yarn so i'm thinking if it is that yarn i'm just going to do a really simple corner to corner stripes diagonal stripes they'll be off color make it a nice big size so it's a nice cuddly blanket i don't know if i'm doing this you can't really tell <laughs> what size i'm at having a little rave um yes i should be able to make a really nice blanket in a really good size with some nice stripes of whichever colours are provided <laughs> they'll all complement each other I'm sure uh, and that will be 
like sort of an advent project as well I'm not really doing an advent project because I've got too many other things that I want to work on and really I just got the calendars because I like collecting yarn I have a problem <laughs> but I know I'm not alone lots of other yarny crafters have the same problem so it's fine um but yeah that's my plan if it's not that yarn then I'll think of something else and I'll be fine but that is my vague plan for a second baby blanket at the moment and that's it about my goals which means that is it for the main part of the podcast thank you very very much for watching especially if you've made it this far we're now oh a good hour and a half in <laughs> obviously that will be a bit shorter by the time you see it because i'll cut out as much of the coughing as i can uh, <laughs> and a couple of drink breaks but yeah it's been a long one and i've rambled a lot and i've been a bit madder than usual it's the winter air <laughs> okay i'm happy leave me alone um that, that's it really I'm not going to give you all the usual spiel about liking and subscribing because you know it already um, but just thank you for joining me thank you again to my brand new subscribers I hope you stick with it and just it's a pleasure as always I love doing this I know it feels like a a bit of a weird thing to do sometimes sat in my craft room chatting right away <laughs> to empty air because no one's actually in the room with me but if well i hope you enjoy watching it i enjoy making it so that's a win to begin with so i am going to finish up with my little bit of physical health and weight loss update but for anyone who doesn't want to watch that thank you very much and goodbye for now right there's not a huge amount to say it's very much the same as last week <laughs> last week last time but little celebration again I have lost another pound which is really really good because at the point at which I weighed myself which was last Saturday I had no right to have lost any weight <laughs> I'd been eating all manner of rubbish and I hadn't done much exercise and it, it all got a bit of out, out of control but I lost a pound anyway so I'm taking the win and since then I think this week I'm doing okay food is a bit of a struggle because like i said before there's all the lovely christmas treats are in the shops and i just love them all so much and i want to enjoy them all but i think i'm striking a reasonably good balance between letting myself have a treat once a day every few days whatever a few times a week anyway but not overdoing it i don't feel like i've binged at any point i don't feel like i've had Oh, I did eat a lot of marzipan at the weekend. I love marzipan. Kelvin laughs at me for how much I like marzipan. Because <laughs> I will just eat it out of the packet. Um, but other than that, other than that, I've done pretty well at not, not having a big binge. Just not overeating. So I'm doing okay on that score. Have I increased my fruit and vegetable intake? No, I have not. <laughs> and that's not going to happen in December that's that's a new year thing exercise wise again i've not been doing it every day but i've been doing okay and again this week apart from today so monday tuesday wednesday i have actively exercised deliberately um, and then because i've been doing all the painting i've been moving more anyway so i feel like on the movement score i'm doing pretty well I actually got out into the fresh air yesterday <laughs> which is rare for me serious vitamin d deficiency i'm sure but i'm just in denial about it at the moment um so yeah it's going pretty well hopefully that will continue to be the case obviously the closer to christmas we get the more relaxed i will probably get about it and then actual christmas and my birthday which is the 28th of december for anyone who wants to know um yeah it'll it'll all go out the window i'm sure for at least a couple of days <laughs> but i will try not to massively overindulge and we'll just see how i go this will be the last proper update about this that you get until january 
which will be my next proper podcast episode. Don't know if I mentioned that. While I'm doing Vlogmas, I'm not going to do any proper podcast episodes because I'm doing Vlogmas. Uh, so I'll be back in January with my next, with episode 12. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll update you then on how I've done. I will not be at all surprised if my weight goes up a pound or two by New Year, but hopefully not too much. And if I can get another pound off before the real major indulgences start, I'll be very happy. Anyway, that's that. I hope you're doing okay if you're having a similar journey. I hope it's going well for you. And as always, if you're having a bad day, just remember tomorrow is a new day. Yeah? Let's just start again. Let's start again. Get yourself back on the horse, back on the wagon, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Um, and take things one day at a time. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to not stress too much, to not put too much pressure on myself. And if I have a day when I feel like I've let it all go, just think, right, reset in the morning. Get those goals back in my head. I want to be healthier. That's my main focus. And I've gone off on a tangent again, haven't I? But yeah, basically, keep going. If you are on the same kind of journey, just keep going, one day at a time. Right, that is it. I am all done. Merry nearly December. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you... Oh, I didn't say this either, so anyone who has ducked out for this bit is going to have missed all this, but anyway. Um, I know I wasn't going to bang on about subscribing, but... If you do want to make sure that you see my Vlogmas videos, do subscribe. Make sure that you are set to receive all notifications for my channel and then you won't miss anything. That's it, I won't bang on about it too much. Thank you again for watching. It has been lovely to ramble on at you, <laughs> as always. Um, and I will speak to you again tomorrow or in January if you're not bothered about vlogmas. Thank you. Bye.